Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about superficial inguinal lymph nodes. Superficial inguinal lymph nodes. Okay, this is very easy topic and also very important. Okay, first of all we want to know that know that inguinal ligament that is attaches between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle. Okay, this is the inguinal ligament attaches between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle. Okay, many structures passing below the inguinal ligament and uh, enters from the lower abdomen into the um, lower limb okay this area is lower abdomen and this is lower limb okay and this area is thigh region thigh region and we already know that and we already know that uh, this is the medial side and this is the lateral side in the medial side we have one opening just below to the inguinal ligament that is the saphenous opening okay this is the saphenous opening through which greater saphenous pain that uh, origins from the foot enter the saphenous opening that pierces the cribriform fascia and drains the drains into the femoral vein okay uh, great saphenous vein that originates from the great saphenous vein that uh, originates from the dorsal venous arch that is medial side of dorsal venous arch and uh, it travels along the medial side of the leg thigh and uh, enters the saphenous opening and uh, drains into the femoral vein okay femoral vein today we are going to see about superficial inguinal lymph nodes that are placed superficially okay that are placed superficially that is uh, you consider this as deep fascia consider this as deep fascia okay great saphenous vein is the superficial vein okay and uh, above the deep fascia we can see superficial fascia that is a fatty layer in this uh, lymph nodes are seen okay that is the superficial inguinal lymph nodes the inguinal ena we use pandrom abadina it is uh, present just below just below to the inguinal ligament that's why we call it a superficial inguinal lymph nodes okay i mark lymph nodes in green color okay um, superficial inguinal lymph nodes are 10 in number and uh, we consider it as horizontal group and vertical group okay these are the horizontal group there are two horizontal group and the one vertical group okay uh, this one this is one group and this is one group and this is one group this is the one vertical group okay this group is superficial superficial lateral okay lateral group or uh, inguinal node okay this is the superficial medial group okay 
and this is the inferior group this is present inferior to that so we called it as inferior group okay inferior group this superficial lateral group receives the lymph from the gluteal region and the lower abdomen lower abdominal wall that is uh, below the umbilicus and this superficial medial group receives lymph from the external genitalia except the testis and this inferior group receives the lymph from the superficial area of the lower limb from the thigh and also from the leg okay and uh, this all superficial lateral group superficial medial group and the inferior group all drains the limb into the deep inguinal nodes that is present along the femoral vein okay this uh, deep inguinal nodes drain the limb into the drain the limb into the um, external iliac nodes that is present along the external iliac vessels okay external iliac vessels okay superficial lateral group receives lymph from gluteal region that is the buttock region and also from the lower abdomen and superficial medial group receives limb from external genitalia external genitalia except the except the testis okay and the inferior group receives lymph from superficial area of the lower limb இதுதான் வந்து உங்களுக்கு சூப்பர்ஃபிஷியல் இங்கன நோட்ஸ்ல வந்து தெரிஞ்சுக்க வேண்டிய விஷயங்கள் ஓகே ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் வி வாண்ட் டு நோ தட் திஸ் இஸ் இங்கன லிகமெண்ட் இங்கன லிகமெண்ட் அட்டாச்சஸ் பிட்வீன் தி ஆன்டீரியர் சுப்பீரியர் இலியக் ஸ்பைன் அண்ட் தி பியூபிக் டியூபக்கள் அண்ட் பிலோ டு தி பியூபிக் டியூபக்கள் வி ஹாவ் மெனி ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் தட் பாசிங் ஃப்ரம் தி லோயர் அப்டமன் அண்ட் என்டர் இன் டு தி லோயர் லிப் okay um lower limb and in the medial side we can see grades of venous vein which travels along the medial side of the lower limb and enters the saphenous opening saphenous opening and uh, uh, drains into the femoral vein okay and uh, we have superficial inguinal nodes um that is present along the inguinal ligament and also in the vertical uh, vertical group also okay two horizontal groups and the one vertical group one is the superficial lateral group and the other is superficial medial group superficial lateral group receives the limb from the limb from the gluteal region and the superficial medial group receives the limb from the external genitalia except the testis okay and the inferior group receives the limb from the superficial area of the lower limb okay and then um this superficial lateral group and the superficial medial group inferior group all receives the limb from the corresponding region through the afferent vessels 
and drains the lymph into the deep inguinal nodes deep inguinal node that is present along the femoral vein through the efferent vessels okay we have two vessels one is the afferent through which uh, we can uh, receive the lymph and efferent okay efferent through which we can drain the lymph okay uh, drain the lymph these are the afferent vessels you consider this are the afferent vessels and this are the efferent vessels efferent vessel this all efferent vessels enter into the saphenous opening and uh, drains into the deep inguinal nodes okay deep inguinal nodes uh, that is present along the femoral vein present along the femoral vein this deep inguinal nodes drain the lymph into the sorry drain the lymph into the external iliac nodes that is present along the that is present along the external iliac vessels okay external iliac vessels you consider this as a external iliac vessels okay external iliac vessels okay that's all about the superficial inguinal nodes if you have any doubt you ask in the please ask in the comment box and subscribe our channel and motivate us okay thank you everyone